Welcome to One Drink, a podcast where we talk about one topic for one drink. I'm Matthew. And I'm Oliver. And we are talking about Halloween. Yeah. It is slowly approaching. Probably, I mean, top three favorite holidays for sure. Yeah? For me, yeah. I've been slowly trying to, like, dress up more. Mm -hmm. You know, the more I go out, because the older you get, the more creative people are. And they really, like, they look forward to this. Oh, yeah. You know, you don't get out often. Kids, family, whatever. Yep. And... When you go to these like Halloween costume parties, I mean they're no joke. Oh like, yeah, they're like they've planned all year for this. So like, all right, I got <laughs> this costume that I've been working on for a year. I don't even have a costume yet. I don't either. Yeah, that's the sad thing about it. But we got some funny stories and some facts yep. about Halloween that. Um, are obviously going to be very entertaining. For sure. <laughs> For sure. All right, so I'm going to start right here. Um, you've been to a haunted house, oh, haunted yeah. hayride. Yeah. It's pretty... Some, I mean, I, dude, some of them, no joke, man. Some scary, of them are right? scary, dude. <laughs> yes. There's some of them where I'm like... <gasps> yeah. I mean, some of them are just cool because, like, the stuff that's set up, like the yeah. one at, uh, I think it's Schultz. That does the one. They have a really cool tractor mm -hmm. tractor ride. Um, and it's just, it's cool. Like, right. there's cool stuff. You know what I mean? It's fun to do. They got this one thing you go by, and there's this little, like, uh, it's like a stage. And there's, like, a skeleton band. And they, like, play, like, a minute of a song or something like that. that. You know sweet. what I mean? It's pretty sweet, yeah. So I remember I went to one, and the Haunted Hayride itself was, it was all right. But at the end, you had to go through a barn. Mm. And the barn was. That's when they get you. Scary as hell. Hell, dude! Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, I jumped, I screamed, I, dude, it was great. Like, there was this one thing I couldn't get out. Like, I was like, I felt I was stuck in this <laughs> barn and I couldn't get out. And I'm like, God damn! So the barn was scarier than the haunted hayride, but the haunted hayrides are sweet. All right, so <clears throat> there's this lady. I had a huge crush on one of my cousin's friends. The one year he came um, with us to the headless horseman hayride, um, fifth house in. Um, and this guy with a chainsaw got me good. No, I mean, I actually peed myself. For some reason, I ran out of the house yelling, I peed, thinking my mother would be out there and laugh with me. Since he, she had gone into the house ahead of me, instead, the only person outside happened to be my crush. <laughs> so you walk out there. Covered in piss. Oh, oh bummer, dude. What a bummer. Uh, <clears throat> that sucks. So if that happens, right? Say that was, you know, our whatever, and we're—they're not even dating though. But you know, maybe they had feelings. I don't know. But she comes out and she's Peter Pan. She's just like, ooh, want to have dinner? <laughs> she's not riding home in my car. <laughs> you got a towel, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh man, oh, that's rough. Shit. <clears throat> that's rough. So yeah, anything could happen. Yeah, that's anything could happen. Literally. All right, here's a fun a fun New York fact here. New York. Which I had no idea. Been in the state pretty much my whole life. No clue. Uh, New York is home to the world's largest Halloween parade. Oh. Uh, yeah. The Greenwich Village Halloween Parade takes place every year on Halloween night in Manhattan, drawing thousands of costume participants wow. and even more spectators. I guess I should have figured that they did. I didn't know that there was a Halloween parade, though. <laughs> Never heard of it in my life. Ever. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, everybody right knows, now. like, the Macy's Day Parade and, yeah, like, yeah, all yeah. that shit. Never heard of a Halloween parade. And I can only imagine, like, we talked about costumes. Like... Oh, dude. And the floats and stuff, bro? <laughs> oh, oh my God. <laughs> we got to figure out if that's, like, televised or something. Because, like, I want to watch that. Oh, my God. Oh. And I'm then... definitely about to YouTube that, though. For sure. Right? Just to get an idea of yeah. A, how big it is and how serious the costumes are. Because um, you know you're going to win some money. Speaking yep. of winning money, right? You go to these costume parties and you go to these events, and of course, there's a first place for the best yep. costume, right? You ever won? Well, you don't dress yeah, up. Yeah, I just won one a couple years ago. Come on. Yeah, me and Jackie won a, a best, best couples. That's sweet. Costumes, yeah. Damn. Yeah, I was a witch doctor, and she was um, um, one of those dolls, you know, that you 
Oh yeah, yeah, Stick voodoo doll. Oh, voodoo doll. Yeah, yeah, she was a voodoo doll, and I was a. I Dude, was my a chair is messed up. Too. Dude, I'm telling you, man, my shit is all <laughs> fucked up, bro. I'm like, I just, I feel terrible over here. Like, it's not. I just. I was just leaning like this, like, and I'm like, whoa, what am I? It's doing leaning here? too easy, too. Like, I'm just float. I wonder if our chairs got flopped around. They might have. I bet you that <clears throat> that's my chair. Yes. And this is the soiled chair. <laughs> oh, stop. Fucking it. Uh, my whole shit up. All right, so. Uh, this one guy, he, uh, went to a Halloween party dressed as Forrest Gump. Popular back in the day, you know, Forrest Gump. I love Forrest Gump. Another guy came to the party as Lieutenant Dan. Oh, no way. That's awesome. Like, they didn't know, of course. That's awesome. And they ended up winning a thousand bucks. I gotta say, though, man, <laughs> like, who, who just alone dresses up like Lieutenant Dan? I don't I feel know. like that's a really weird character to pick. Forrest Gump, fine. Main character in the movie. yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, unless the guy happened to not have legs like Lieutenant Dan. Oh, I didn't. And then I feel like that would be a really good costume choice. True. Because half of it's already there. It's perfect. That you need. The wheelchair is. And I don't know if that was the case. I didn't look too deep into it, but that could be the the perfect uh, scenario. You know what I mean? (laughs) I feel like that's like actors, though, that get like typecast. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I feel like if you didn't have legs and you went as Lieutenant Dan one year, Right. I feel like it would have been so perfect. Uh, like, how do you not be Lieutenant Dan every year? Like, what are you going to be this year? Oh, Spider-Man. Mm-hmm. Why don't you just be Lieutenant Dan again? Okay. Probably Fine. he'll win some money. Right. But then you got to start getting, like, the whole cast in there. You know what I mean? You need you Bubba. Bubba. <laughs> you need his mom. I'm Bubba. B- Bubba, Bubba Gump. Gump. <laughs> Bubba Gump. Shrimp. Oh, shit. It's bold shrimp. Fried shrimp. Shrimp sandwich. Shrimp scampi. <laughs> Sure. There's just so much. And then just randomly they're just scrubbing with the toothbrush. She goes, that's that's about all you can do with shrimp. Mm-hmm. That's great. That movie's fantastic. I love that movie. I might watch that movie this weekend. Um, okay, here's a cool one. Um, um, I lost it. Oh, there is a statue of Jason from Friday the 13th. I love it. Um, at the bottom of a lake in Crosby, Minnesota. Oh, come on. Diver Doug Klein built the statue and tethered it to the bottom of the water-filled um, Louise Mine Pit in 2013. Since Damn. then, it's become a popular underwater attraction for other divers. Now, here's the thing, though, about this, right? <laughs> One, super cool. Yeah. Especially, if, like, if you know it's down there and you're like, oh, sweet, I'm gonna dive down and see Jason. Like, yeah. that's dope. If you're a diver, I happen to be in that area, and you don't know about that statue. What happens when you're just diving down, <laughs> swimming along the bottom, and you just look up and boom, there's a statue of fucking Jason standing there with the mask Dude, that and like all that. Can you imagine that? Freak me out. You talk about p- pissing yourself. Oh yeah, yo, for sure. Yo, Without- I might even shit myself. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, because you're like, I think I just, I might die. I might, Who yeah. is this guy? Yeah. Like, and you're and underwater. <laughs> like, you can't, do you can't go up too fast or you're going to get a brain bubble. You know what I'm saying? Or you're like, ah, oh, you scramble. Like, and like, blah, 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 all the bubbles go <laughs> off. A mask comes off. A mask off, comes right like, off. Then you can't see. And then, like, then you uh, get too close and you touch him. You're like, yeah. fuck. <laughs> oh, no thanks. It's uh, fucked up. And, and you cool. know that that's got to have happened to at least one person. Of course. Or maybe somebody was looking for it, but it wasn't that, like, the water wasn't that clear. Right. And then they just sort of just poof, and it's right, right there, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, man. Freak that's me great. out, dude. <clears throat> that would freak me out. Oh, that's one thing I didn't know as well. Mm-hmm. You always learn something new on this show. That's, you know what I mean? I mean, that's... I always learn something. That's the great thing about this. Yep. Um, <clears throat> so... You go trick or treating, and there's not always someone, but you know, you you get handed not candy, but who knows what? Yeah. Right? Just from the oddball, weird people that are out there, you know. So this lady, <laughs> we had a crazy lady that lived on our street. She was crazy Kathy, of course. That's what they named her, or crazy Karen, whatever one you wanna. Kathy, Karen, it's pretty much all all the same. (laughs) Guaranteed it's all the same. We went to her house to trick or treat and she was handing out cigarettes. (laughs) 
Okay. <laughs> now, I don't mean to laugh, but I mean, you really have to be um, white trash. Just messed up to be handing out straight cigarettes to kids. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's, you could hand out anything else, anything, cigarettes. <laughs> and you know she was like this. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Here you go. <laughs> Pack of matches with it. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> While she's doing, like, lighter tricks or oh, something. Are you guys cute? <laughs> It'd be like uh, the sisters, uh, the Mar- Marge's <laughs> sisters. That's exactly what it Oh, is. man. Uh, That's rough. So what's the weirdest thing you ever got? Do you remember? Not a cigarette. Yeah, no, I've always gotten candy. Yeah. Or like... Uh, I mean, every now and then you get that weirdo that'll give you like chips. Oh, right, 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 Which, that's right. not bad. The blaze. The <laughs> ones that always, like, sketched me out were the neighbors that, like, put, like, too much effort into the stuff that they were giving out. <clears throat> you know? And it's not like it was one of... So, my direct neighbor when I was a kid growing up, <laughs> like, right next door, they were great. They always made us, like, a little bag that had, like, a couple full-size candy bars in it Ooh. for, like, me and, like, a couple of my buddies, you know, that always hung out. But, Full like, size. we knew them, though. Like, she made me cookies, and you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, he had this old, cool train set in his basement because he used to be a conductor. He was a conductor for, like, 40 years on, in the railroads. That's so cool. So, but anyway, they were awesome. They were, like, grandparent age yeah, at yeah, the yeah. time. Yeah. So, like, they made us a cool little bag, so that was cool. But, like, there, w- there was always a couple houses in the neighborhood where... Like you would get like something that was like homemade, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> like a like a like a cookie on a stick dipped in chocolate. Like cool and, with the effort, but I don't like, know I? you like that, so I probably shouldn't eat this. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I would always like get rid of those. Do you remember getting? But I don't really. Th- oh, the, the the candy corn, the loose candy corn in the bowl. That oh. I always hated. I always hated that. Because not only are your grubby ass hands going in the bowl, Ugh. like then you're putting it in my bed, then you want, now, now that candy, yeah. which is in that bowl, which who knows what that bowl used to be used for, or if you washed your hands before you scooped it and gave it to me, yeah. now it's in my bag, touching all the wrappers from all the other candy that had everybody else's hand on, like one candy corn is nasty anyways. Oh, I Two, agree. That's a terrible delivery system for candy corn. Yeah. But we always had that house in the neighborhood, so. I forgot about the bowl. I think it's candy. just because eventually, after a couple of years, everybody just skipped that house because yeah. they knew they were just going to get candy corn. So I think that guy was probably the smartest in the neighborhood. And also, for the record, candy corn is the worst it's candy ever. Ever. I ever. hate I hate candy, candy corn. corn. Yep, same. Thank What's your God. favorite candy ever? <sighs> Man. Okay, okay, okay. Let's break that down. Favorite chocolate bar? Oh, <sighs> any kind of ch- any kind of candy bar. They're so good. Chocolate, I know, I know. God damn it, I'm gonna have to go. See, for me, for me right now, I'll give you a second to think about yours. For me, my current favorite yep. is the Reese's Outrageous. Ooh, what's that? So, you ever had a fast break or a take five from uh, Reese's? Um, no. No. Fuck. Okay. Anyways, it's a candy bar with sort of like um, a a peanut buttery, it's like a light sort of peanut buttery filling, but it's stuffed with Reese's Pieces. Oh. Which is arguably one of the most underrated candies ever. So, I mean, I was going to say Reese's, because, I mean... You can't go wrong with a solid Reese's so Peanut Butter good, Cup. But now this, I dude, haven't even ate it. Dude, there's, dude, Reese's has been crushing the oh, candy bar game lately. They got, God. like, eight new ones out. Like, totally new types of candy bars. And they're fucking phenomenal. Damn. It's 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 unreal. But the outrageous is great. Snickers probably all time classic <sighs> chocolate so good, candy right? bar. You know what I mean? Like you know exactly what you're gonna get yeah. when you eat a Snickers. Oh. Like you know what I mean? It's I satisfying like a, and it's. I do like a Kit Kat though. Oh, Kit Kats are great. Just Twix, Twix as well oh are definitely God. up there. <laughs> the I love caramel. Twix. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Twix are good. Um, but yeah, for so- chocolate bars, Reese's. All right. Now, for what about like? What uh, about candy? Not a non-chocolate. For me, this one's easy. Is it? Oh yeah, it's Sour Patch Kids. Oh, okay. I love 
Sour Patch Kids. I actually remember you buying a bag. Well, it's just fruit snacks. See, now, I'm going to have to go with, like, Jolly Ranchers. Really? Okay. Just some, Hard candies. Yeah. So All I right. just, for some reason, I get cravings for Jolly Ranchers. All right. <clears throat> and I almost choked on one the other day. <laughs> you ever swallowed one by mistake? I was in a meeting with this dude. <laughs> you just, I feel like I can hear it. So you can hear it splash in your stomach, dude. He goes like this. He's like, all right, man. He gives me some Jolly Ranchers. I was like, I love these things. Well, so we're talking, and I was like, <laughs> I was like this. And he goes, he goes like this. He goes, did you just swallow that Jolly Rancher? I was like, I did. And I was like, thank God I wasn't like choking. <laughs> but dude, then you start to panic. You're like, yo, that whole candy is sitting in there. Because you can feel it. Oh, yeah. And it was and like, then slowly, it just goes slowly going down. <laughs> and I didn't have any water. So I was like, <laughs> I was like trying to push it down. And he's like, so dude, are you all right? <laughs> I was like, I'm good, dude. He's like, well, that was pretty cool, huh? And I was like, I guess. <laughs> can I have another one? I did take uh, another one, but I didn't eat it right then. Oh, uh, yeah, it's like Jolly rough. Ranchers. Yeah. <laughs> it was so good. Oh, man. God damn it. Oh, that's uh, awesome. Okay. Yeah. All right, let's get back on track here. We got <laughs> distracted by candy. Well, I guess we're going to have to do a candy show. I mean... We're definitely going to have to do with samples. Oh, yeah. Maybe I'll bring in, like, my top five favorite candies. And I'll bring And you in bring mine. in your top five. And then we'll have oh, just, like, a, so good. a candy, uh, you know what I mean? So good. Maybe a little judging, oh, maybe just... maybe a couple blind taste tests. <laughs> See, you know what I mean? If we can identify the candy. Oh, man. I mean, it's, it, it, I think we have similar tastes in, like, the candy, so... I mean, we're just going to eat it all. I'm right. So, really, I just want to sit down and eat a bunch of candy. <laughs> For 30 minutes oh. and then post it on the internet. Yeah. All right. Cool. I'm down with that. <laughs> <laughs> but we're not giving out cigarettes. So. No. <laughs> or candy corn. No. God, I hate that. The guy that gave out the candy corn, I bet, was was the chick that gave out the cigarettes' son. Oh, for I sure. I bet they had to be related, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. They had to be. Bastards. All right. Um, the word which comes from the Old English... Um, weiss. Weiss. Who? Weiss? W-I-C-C-E. I don't even know how to pronounce that. I don't either. Meaning wise woman. Oh, really? Um, taking it a notch further, um, Weissen were actually thought of in a positive light with their opinions being highly respected. These probably could have been useful in Salem. So, it's or witch funny. Trials. So, a witch used to be kind of like a compliment. A good thing, right? Right. And now... <laughs> If you call someone a witch, you might as well just call them a bitch. It's, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. It's such a negative thing. It's like, you witch. I wonder <laughs> if the word... <clears throat> that weiss? No, just like the way it said witch oh. came from bitch. Oh, they just... I wonder if it's somebody who had like a speech impediment that couldn't put the say... Put two together. That couldn't say witch. And he was like, who's this bitch? <laughs> or some... Somebody like, that can't say said? the letter W and it sounds like a B, <laughs> but then somebody else thought it was a B. Yeah. It's probably something stupid. And they like heard that. it and ran with right, it and was yep. like, yo, this bitch. <laughs> Not which. Came up with a new word. <laughs> oh, man, and I hope that's how it happened. Uh, me too. <clears throat> All right, so this is pretty clever. During Christmas, have you ever had a Christmas caroler come to your house? No. Me either. Thank God. Never. I uh, I don't even know what I would do if they. You, what can you do? You have to stand there and listen to it. Unless do they, you? Um, yeah, man. <laughs> You're gonna be that jackass that closed the door on a bunch of people trying to do something nice. True. No. I, I, you know what I mean? You're not. You're gonna want to. 
<clears throat> do you join in? No, no, that's not the point. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. No, because then they ask you, oh, you want to come with us? <laughs> oh. Okay. Because what are you going to do? The Say banter. no, because then you're a jackass because you didn't want to go. So yeah, the banter, exactly. Exactly. Go watch our show that we did from the Pittsburgh <laughs> Arts something. Etiquette. And, yeah, on <laughs> etiquette. Yeah, the show on etiquette. <sighs> and go watch the thing about banter if you don't know what it, I'm talking about. It never ends. Oh, yeah, so it's yeah, just the a tough, banter. It's a tough Son predicament a to be in. <laughs> yeah, and then all of a sudden you're walking around at 3 o'clock in the afternoon in the fucking snow singing, singing these stupid songs that you don't even know the words to. And you just cold. know the chorus. <laughs> you're cold. Right, man. You get sick. And then you get all these assholes <laughs> shutting the door in your face like, oh, <laughs> that could have been me. And I wonder, like, each time someone opens the door, they're just like, fuck. Do you want to join us? So the yeah. Crowd <laughs> yeah, all of a sudden you got 30 people walking down the street. Oh. Very idiot. <laughs> okay, so Fuck. some college kids. <clears throat> we knew we were too old to go trick or treating because we were in college, so we came up with a gimmick. Instead of asking for candy, we sang Halloween songs. We changed all the Christmas carols to Halloween carols by switching the lyrics with candy and Halloween items. Because there's no Halloween songs. <sighs> I mean, there's Monster Mash. Do the monster mash. He did the mash. <laughs> he did the monster mash. The monster mash. Is that the only one? <laughs> it was a great young smash. <laughs> he did the mash. Is that the only one you really no. need to know? Tell <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> me another Halloween song. <laughs> oh, <no>. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> I don't know any other <laughs> Halloween <laughs> Just that one. <laughs> so these people, they came up, they just switched all the Christmas carols to Halloween. Yeah. And I bet you they did Monster Mash, too. Oh, they had to have. Yeah, I mean, they probably started with that one. And then they were like, yo. We got to sing something else check here. Check this out. Like, like Snickers, can't... the candy bar. You know, how do right. you, like, you know. I don't know. <laughs> they had to take some serious time to, like, mm. switch that up, yeah. you know. And actually write those songs. <laughs> yeah. Because there's just no Halloween song. It's just Monster Mash, dude. He did the mash. Oh, man. The Monster Mash. The Monster Mash. Uh, now, what about... Um, I don't even know if it would be considered a Halloween song, but, like, the Monsters? Did they have a, uh, no intro song? No. Or? That's a theme so a song, right? song from a show, though. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. Nobody's got a song. That's it. What's it? Monster Mash has got the market on a whole holiday. Those guys are genius. Yeah, all these other idiots are over here writing fucking 30 million Christmas songs. Oh, man, the Monster yeah. Mash. Whew. You get the mash. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <clears throat> the world's heaviest jack-o'-lantern weighed 2,684 pounds. I mean... And two ounces. <laughs> That's a lot. Bro, it's nuts. <clears throat> the pumpkin made its debut at the Ludwigsburg Pumpkin Festival. Of course. Pumpkin Festival. Ah, that's where I was going with that. The wow. Pumpkin Fest. Oh. Might have to check that out. Uh, in, oh man, am I going to mess this up. <laughs> the Baden-Württemberg. Sounds good. Sure. It's in Germany. Yeah, of um, on November 6, 2021, <clears throat> and it wasn't your average jack lantern either. It was etched with the face and other decorations, including stars and heraldic symbols. There you go. I mean, dude, I could sleep in that thing. It's gotta be. Do you see that thing on Facebook that somebody did around here? No. Um, they carved uh, like a Bill's. Buffalo Bills pumpkin into a 2,000 pound pumpkin. Really? Yeah, I think it was like somebody that like I know or like somebody that I know that knows somebody. Right. You know what I mean? One of those like friend of a friend's husbands <laughs> or something. But they like they carve. Yeah, it's like a local. You're like I can't a local guy. This it's is crazy. Happening. Yep. <clears throat> so it was pretty cool. Wow. Of course it was a Bills. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's great. <clears throat> that's a big ass pumpkin though. Whew. Oh, the pumpkin fest, though. Man. Looks like we Dude, got... pumpkin. F we're going to have to go to the pumpkin fest. Looks like we got another. Uh, For sure. Another festival to add to our repertoire of crazy festivals. 
dude. I'm with it. Okay, so you got a daughter, of course, trick or treating. Mm -hmm. Kids are unpredictable. You never know what the heck they're gonna do, say, or anything. That's the great thing about it, right? Yep. We were almost finished trick or treating when my daughter said she had to go to the bathroom. Eh, you know, parents are like, oh, let's go to one more house, right? Uh, instead, we went to one more house and she peed on the front porch. <laughs> Yo. Could you imagine? My kid is having problems with potty training too, <laughs> and she pee She just has accidents <coughs> everywhere. That could totally be my kid. And you know, so it's just. 100%. She does it, <clears throat> this kid, you know, and she just innocently looks back and she's like, I told you I had to pee. You know, you, you can't do anything about it. You're just That's like, the fault of the parents, though, because when your kid tells you to pee, and any parent that's halfway decent will know. When your kid tells you to pee, they gotta pee. There's nothing else that's more important than getting your kid onto the fucking toilet. Yeah, yeah. You drop everything. Food, drinks, doesn't matter what you're doing. Because they got to pee. You, It's time to go. Yeah. It's time to go. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Because you got about eight seconds Yeah. Right. before you're changing a whole outfit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Tossing them in the shower for a second, rinsing them off, get the wipes. You know what I mean? It's a process. Dude, it's, 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 it's ten minutes if you don't right. make that eight second gap. You know what I mean? It's, 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 it's a tight. No matter squeeze, what you're doing, bro. you're like, Dad, I gotta go to the bathroom. You're Whoa. just like, okay, let's go. <laughs> I'm filming the bucket. You gotta go. Oh, oh man. Out. Go. <clears throat> Chew. Here's funny. that pumpkin. Oh. Well, damn. Everything. Yeah. Whole buffalo face in it and everything, dude. It's crazy. That is crazy. I definitely didn't mean to have volume on right there. So that's cool. But, anyways. But yeah, giant ass. I mean pumpkin. that. I mean that's some talent. We'll as put well. a picture up here for you guys too. Of course, this will. thing. Um, that's amazing. Yeah, Eric Jones, Buffalo Bills, mm -hmm. Clarence, New York. Yeah, never been to Clarence. I don't Me think. neither. Not sure where that is. Probably drove by it. Drove through it. <laughs> yeah, in the blink of an eye. <laughs> right there goes Clarence, the town that is. Where? <laughs> right. You already missed it. <clears throat> uh, yeah, 2,000 pounds this pumpkin weighed. Damn. It's pretty crazy. Not bad. I know. He was waiting for it, too. I mean, he's definitely an artiste as well. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah you can't just... Do that. Do that, you no. know what I mean? I mean, I can barely do a regular old face. <laughs> you and I would be like, on a fucking all right, pumpkin, we're going to do a, I mean? a sweet. It's crazy. I mean, that is cool, though. Yeah, it is pretty sweet. Uh, so, yeah, so make sure when your kids um, say they got to go. They got to go. You when know. They got to go. You, you got to go. go. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Let's see. <clears throat> What we got here? In Ireland, where Halloween originated, Ooh. also didn't know that, people celebrate by setting off fireworks. Mm -hmm. They also um, eat barn brick, a traditional fruitcake, okay. and light bonfires to celebrate the holiday. There you go. That's pretty cool. It's kind of like the 4th of July. Mm-hmm. But it's mm. not. <clears throat> In Germany, it's tradition for people to hide their knives on Halloween night. I mean, that's probably a good thing, right? What's the tradition behind like Hide it on their person, or? <laughs> the goal is to prevent returning spirits from getting injured. Ooh, spirits. How's a knife gonna hurt a spirit? The ghosts. It's a ghost. It's the monster mash. <laughs> All right. <I> don't, <clears throat> that doesn't make any sense. This one is uh, my last one, and it's just weird, ironic, and it would be funny to see for both of us. Okay. If this happened. Oh boy, this ought to be good. <clears throat> my father-in-law built my twin toddlers and me matching red Lego costumes. So, you know, Lego costumes. Yeah. And everything went fine for the trick-or-treating. It wasn't until I put my costume in the dumpster at my apartment complex that things got weird. A grown man dumpster diving then retrieved the costume and started wearing it around the neighborhood in the middle of November. <laughs> 
So just when you think this, no way, dude. <laughs> just when you think the costume's gone. Oh and my god. It sucks that that guy is homeless and needs, you know, clothing. But, you know, you look out the window and you're just like, and you see the costume that your dad worked so hard on. <laughs> what the? F I just go out there and be like, hey man, fifty bucks. Yeah, yeah. Be like, we're gonna give me the costume. <laughs> Here's a jacket. There's 50 bucks in the pocket. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Just give me the costume. Yep. <clears throat> so, That's yeah. funny. All right, one more. That's funny. There is a reason why black and orange are associated with Halloween. Ooh, let's hear uh, it. Orange signals the harvest of autumn, mm. while black is a symbol of darkness and X is a reminder that Halloween once was a festival of that. Or uh, once was a festival that marked the boundaries between life and death. Ooh. I guess yep. that totally makes sense because you look outside and all the leaves are orange and yeah, oh yeah, yeah, the foliage. Think uh, foliage. Foliage. <laughs> this is a bunch of tin foil out there. I love how confidently you said that too. Yep, the foilage. <laughs> like, check out this word I'm about to use. <laughs> Epic fail. <laughs> <laughs> I love this show. Oh, oh man. man. The but, foliage and the Jolly Ranchers and... Boom. <laughs> but that's what upstate... <laughs> <laughs> you think you're going to get it back for a second, too. I did. Uh, and then... <laughs> yeah. I was like, I can clap. Because sometimes <laughs> you do and it'll just pop back up and you're like... Oh. Yep. Like nothing even happened. Mm -hmm. She's just sitting over there acting like you almost didn't oh, just die. Man. It would have been so great if I like if it just flung out <laughs> and like hit the dude. You know what I mean? <laughs> Whew, be like, oh, that was a bad one. Yeah, my, what did you give me, dude? Damn, yeah, that one's expired. That would have been a meeting he would have never forgotten. Right. Let me try a different color. Oh my god. Let me try a purple one. So. Great. What color was it? It was green. Apple. Oh, good, good, good choice. The old apple. Good choice. I think so grapes good. still my favorite. Grape is damn good. Uh huh. Yep. So those are our facts and funny stories for Halloween. Yep. Um, next week we might even dress up. Next week it is possible that yeah. we dress up. And we can. Yeah. And we will. We might. And we might have to just recycle a costume from oh, for sure. last year, yeah. a couple years ago. Maybe I'll do my witch doctor thing. I mean, I'll, cut, I'll go to Party City. Oh yeah, that's right. We we'll just go there. We can film while we're there too. Like film us like trying on different costumes. We'll just come because out of Mario and Luigi. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, we'd have to get Ryan on the show for that one. We'd have to get Ryan on the show for that one. For Mario. Yeah, because he's a huge retro gaming enthusiast. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So. I'm He'd sure he can do the Mario voice, right? Like, oh, it's me, No, Mario. it's a me, Mario. <laughs> what else does he say, though? That's all he says. <laughs> no. I don't think Luigi even says anything in the game. Oh, man. That would be great. <laughs> this is going to be great. This is going to be a great show. And we might have an on-location um, show that day, too. Oh, yeah, from... Mm -hmm. And then we'll come back here and film a show. <laughs> yes. 100% doing that. Next Saturday is going to oh. be great. Be sure to stay tuned <laughs> for that one, guys. You can check out all of our shows Anywhere that you want to. I'm yes. talking iHeartRadio, Spotify, Apple, all of it. YouTube. Yeah. Facebook. Yep. Instagram. TikTok. Everywhere. Dude, we're everywhere. Yeah. We're everywhere. Twitter. The one that used to be a, a Twitter. Yeah. Now it's X. Yep. Which I don't it's I don't understand his thing, but we're live on Twitter, right? Or twi no. TikTok. We're live on TikTok. We're live on TikTok. We're over there too. So yeah. just you can find us and it's wondering podcast everywhere literally everything it is wondering podcast yeah. it's not a different name for every single different thing nope so be sure to check us out drop us a like or a follow or a sub or a whatever the button is for you liked it yeah the and thumbs this one not this one and we all this one. and we just ask if you share with one person yep the share button is usually right next yeah to the like pretty button. simple so pretty easy hit this one then hit that one and then then you're done then you never have to watch <clears> this again yeah until the halloween show the, the other Halloween, Halloween show. The other Halloween show. Halloween costume show. But. It's me, Mario. I don't say anything else. Well, what else do I say? <laughs> he did the mash. <laughs> <laughs> the
Monster Mash. The one and only Halloween song. God. Oh, but anyways, guys, have a great Halloween. We'll see you next week. <laughs> Cheers. Ooh.